Have you ever wished that you could pull a Zoom chat comment question up onto your screen so that you can show it while you talk about it in Zoom? Well, it turns out you can, and that is what we are covering today. And yeah, I'm excited about this. So let's dive in. First of all, it is called Social Stream. It's been around for a while, but I just learned about it. And it is a browser extension. You can get to it from socialstream.ninja. Now it was developed directly for OBS. However, it also works with Ecamm. Or if you have another app that you use as a virtual camera, if it has a browser overlay or a web widget, then this should probably work. So I'm gonna show you both of those today. The other thing I need you to know before we get into the demo, one is that you will require a virtual camera in order to make this work. So if you are new to using a virtual camera, I have a link with the guide that you can get for free of how to set up your virtual camera for the first time. And I also highly recommend a video I did earlier this year explaining things you really should know before you use a virtual camera to add graphics to your Zoom calls. Things like quality and resolution. The other thing I wanna cover before we dive into the demo is that this does require you to use Zoom in a browser. So not joining by the app, but joining by the browser. Now the way I have tested and set it up is that I actually join with my paid account through the app. Then I use a free account and I sign into the browser. So I'm signed into the meeting twice, once in the app and once in the browser. And you'll see that in today's example. Now there are two components to help you understand how this extension works. The first component is what we call the streaming chat. This is where you see the whole chat, you can control the chat and decide which comment or question do you want to show, and then you can also hide it again. It's, this is browser-based, meaning you can either use this directly in a browser to control it, or if you are using OBS, you also have the option of using a browser dock, and I'll show you that example. The second component is the actual output. This is the overlay that you set up in your scene so that you can show the single comment you have chosen to highlight. This is an overlay with a transparent background and you can also customize the styling. So those are the two components that I'll show you. So let's dive into the demo, talk about how to set this up and then use it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is actually download the extension. So here, if you go to socialstream.ninja, it'll take you to this page and you can download the most up-to-date code. So if you click here and say download zip, this will give you the newest version and you will want to download and then unzip it. Now you're going to want to go to your extensions. So click on your browser extensions and say manage. Here you can see I already have it downloaded because I've been playing with it, but if you don't yet, you are going to want to toggle on developer mode in the top right corner. Once you've done that, you'll see the option of load unpacked. When you click this, it will allow you to upload the file that you just grabbed. Once you do, you will see Social Stream Ninja in your browser extensions. The next thing you'll wanna do is pin it. So if we go to the extensions, you can make sure that this browser is, this extension is pinned. So here it's unpinned. If I pin it, it shows up. And this is what it looks like here. When you first open it, it will actually be off. It'll be red at the top, so you'll want to make sure that you click and make the extension active. Now, earlier I talked about the two components, the streaming chat, this one here, and there's a link to that chat, and we have the featured chat overlay. This is the actual output you are gonna set up in your scene. Now, I want to draw your attention to styling because you should take a moment to open the styling. If you wanna make any changes, I recommend doing this first. Don't change it in the middle of the chat. So I personally wanted to change the background color of the name. So it'll show the name and then the chat. So I just updated the background color and then you can also drop down here and you can choose a different font if you want to adjust the font. Once you're happy with that, then you, can, you will have an updated link that represents your changes. Up here at the top, we have the actual streaming chat. So if I click on this right now, it will bring up this dashboard. Now there's no chat yet because we haven't logged into the meeting, but the chat will show up here in this browser. So let's actually add myself to the meeting. So I currently have a Zoom meeting running and I have my OBS virtual camera right now. So if I look at my camera source, I can see that I'm connected to OBS. So whatever's in OBS is gonna show up here in Zoom. So I am going to copy the link 
And remember, this Zoom meeting, this is my paid account. This is where I want to run the meeting. But if I go now over to the browser, I am going to paste this meeting invite. Now it wants me to open the app and I'm going to say, nope, cancel. <laughs> and you'll see down here, it says, don't have it, download it now. If I click this again and say launch meeting, now you will see a second option. So you have to cancel twice, but then it will allow you to join the meeting from your browser. Now I am logged in to my browser right now with a separate free account. So I'm going to say join from your browser. For name, I don't wanna have a duplicate of my name. So I am going to call this meeting support. I'm gonna leave the camera off and I'm not going to join audio. So if I click join, now I will have to let myself in. So let's go over to the Zoom meeting. I'm going to let myself into the meeting and we go back to the browser. I am not going to worry about audio. I don't want two audio sources coming in and I won't worry about that right now. So I'm in the meeting and I'm in a browser right now. If, now this is one of the things that I want you to do. If you were to press chat in the browser and say, hi, I'm here. Now, if we go over to this social stream dashboard, you'll see that the chat is being pulled from the Zoom meeting being in the browser. But let's say that we want to sort of dock it and see that browser with our overlay. So two things. One, I can actually pull this out and I'm gonna do that and then make it small here. And that's one option. So you can just control this chat here. Now we haven't set it up yet, but you can set it up on the side. The other thing you can do is if you're using OBS, you can dock it. So let's actually grab this link. I'm going to copy it. We're going to now go into OBS. So here I have OBS set up and we can dock the browser. So I have two options. I could just have OBS here and I could have my chat, which I can control besides. So that, that is an option. I do not have to dock the browser, but let's see what it looks like if I add the chat to OBS. And it is a little bit cropped because of where I have the setup. In your menu in OBS, you wanna go to view, dock, and then custom browser dock. When I click custom browser dock, you can see I do have the dock here. I'm going to, let's just delete this and start fresh. So I'll say social stream, and then I'm going to paste the URL, which is specific to this session. And I will say apply and close. Now I have this little dock, so it is also the browser. Let's go over into the Zoom meeting in the browser, and I'm just gonna put another message. Hello again. And then we'll go back to OBS and I can see it. So once I set it up, then it will start to pull them. So you wanna do this at the start and you can either have this free floating or if you hover in certain parts, I like to put it here, whoop, drop it beside. You can put it in different places, but you can have it beside your window. But now let's actually set up the second part, which is the overlay. And there are two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the first way, which is sort of the simplest way, but then I'll teach you the preferred way. So in this scene, this is just a scene with me and my camera. And all you can see, the only source is the camera. So I can add a browser source by clicking plus browser. And now I want to grab from the extension, the overlay. And so if we go over here into this meeting chat, I can stream down, I go down to here. I'm going to copy this. Then I'll go back to OBS and I'm going to call this social stream overlay. And I replace this URL with the one that I just copied. Now I need to pick the width and the height. Now for me, I want it to be pretty wide, but not necessarily the entire width, which would be about 1920. So I will say, we'll do 1600 and I'll leave the height at 280. You can play around and see what it is that you like, what your preference is. Then we'll say, okay, it's up here. I'm gonna bring it down here a little bit off of the corner. So I've got a bit of room around it, but it is placed in the lower third area. Okay, so let's see what happens when I click. So if I just click here, now you can see the comment comes up. And if we go over to Zoom, the actual Zoom meeting, 
and let's go over here. Actually, let's let's look at the one in the browser. <laughs> the one in the browser, I can see in this Zoom meeting that it is showing up on my video overlay. Let's add a few more messages and I am gonna add them from the app and let's go into our Zoom meeting and I've pre-prepared a few comments. So I've got an example here, I've got another example. This is a longer one so I can show you what that looks like. And I've got another example here. You can see that meeting support is of the browser ones and then it's, it's myself, my paid account here. And if I go back over into OBS, all of those have shown up. The longer one is really long and it's actually a little bit messy, um, but though, so you can play around with the width and how you like to see it. If we were to toggle over to our browser, so if I go to our Chrome browser, but then go here, it's a little bit easier to read in the browser here. So I'm just saying, <laughs> and actually, I don't have OBS showing, but if I click on this, it's connected to OBS. So if I click on this, it will change. And now it shows this one in the meeting. So you can see how you can control it either from this browser, which I just made smaller, or you can control it from OBS. So if we go over to OBS, I can click on them here. And if you've clicked on it, it will turn green. Now I've clicked on one in the browser and one in here, but that shows you that you have already shown that one. Let's take a look at a bigger one. So you can see a, an example here of how big that is. And if we go back over to the meeting, uh, let's go to our browser. You can see what this looks like when it's on the overlay. So you don't want it to be too long. If it's really, really, really long, the, the font is gonna get very tiny, but this is a pretty long question and it works. If we see this example, it's a little bit shorter. And I highlight here, you can use this with other apps, Teams, Crowdcast, Discord, Vimeo, YouTube, Twitch, and it just has an update for sessions as well. So there are a lot of ways you can use this, but today we are focusing on how to use this in Zoom to pull this up, and this is what it looks like. Also, this here is where I updated the color. So I, I think it, the default was yellow. I updated it to match my color, and so you can do that as well. So if we go back to OBS. Um, if you ever wanna pop out the chat, you can just click here and this will pop out the chat and you can decide where you wanna see it. And this is where you can adjust it a little bit more. The other thing I wanna bring your attention to, let's just cover my duplicate face here, <laughs> is that there is a thing called the queue. So if I hover and say, oh, I wanna, I know, I'm talking right now, but I wanna address a couple questions. So first of all, uh, let's turn this one off. So. If I click, I chose it here, I'm gonna click it here. When you click it again, it goes away. But let's go back into, so OBS, we've got our main doc, and I know that I want to show this one. You can press Control, click on it, and that will highlight it a light purple. What I'm doing is I'm actually adding these to a queue. So I now have two things in a queue, and at the bottom, you can see here that there is, this means there's a queue, if I click on this little hamburger menu, it will actually show me everything that I've highlighted or put in the queue. If I click it again, it will go back to my main chat. And if I click on this, it will actually show the queue. So let's just kind of move this over to the side a little bit. I don't want to fully dock it, <laughs> but I do want to use the queue. And so we can say this one. So it pulls up the first one in the queue that if I click on this again, it will just go to the next one right after. And so now the queue is empty. There's nothing else in the queue, but you can easily add things to the queue by saying control and click on a comment. So if I wanted to add this big one here, even if I've already shown it, I can add it to the queue. So now the queue has come back again. Now, earlier, I mentioned that there's, that's the simple way to do it, but there's a preferred way to do this. So let's actually, let's dock this again. We'll just drag it beside. And we are going to, so here, I have added this to a single scene, the social stream overlay, but each session has its own link. And so I would have to, if I wanted it on multiple scenes, I would have to go into each scene. So if I had a slides, little picture in picture window, I would have to add it here because it's not here, et cetera. And then I would have to go and update it in each of those. I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna recommend is that you create a scene in OBS, let's make this a little wider, that is called chat overlay. And I want you to set it up in here once. So we're going to add the browser, so just the chat overlay. We can 
add the existing one because we've already set it up. So it'll be the same link. We go here, we can put it where we want it and then we leave it. <laughs> you, can, you can lock it if you want to. So the next time you come in here, you can click on properties and you can update the URL, but you only update it here in your stream overlay. Uh, let's save the changes. Now what happens instead of adding the social stream L, the social stream overlay here, I'm actually going to get rid of this, say, yes, I want to remove it. And instead any scene where you want a chat to be able to show up, I want you to add the scene on top. And then you only change the link for that one scene. So if I say plus, now I'm going to choose scene, which I think got cut off. So let's go a little bit, I'll squeeze this a bit here. Plus, and we want scene from the list. Now it will say, well, what scene do you wanna show? And I want to show the chat overlay and say, okay. Now, if I click on a comment, it will still pull up on this scene, but it will happen on any scene where I've added that chat overlay and it will always be up to date. So we only have to update the link once in this chat overlay, but then on any scene where we're showing the chat overlay, then it will be updated. That is what I recommend for OBS is to add it once and then you can overlay using the scene instead of the chat. Hopefully that is making sense. Now I also want to show you how you can do this in Ecamm. So I've got Ecamm open on the other screen and I am going to show you the live demo mode. So if we go here into a live demo, you can see my Ecamm here and we are I'm going to add a web widget. So I actually already have it here, but let's just pretend we're adding it brand new. If I click on this little web widget, I've got this social stream here, but I'm going to get the most up to date one, which we have over here. Make sure I've copied that properly. We've got the featured chat overlay, which I know you can't see, but I'm just grabbing it from the other one. And then I am adding it here. I'm going to change the resolution. So let's do the same one as before, 1600 by 280 and say, add widget overlay. So now you can see it here on the page. It's actually quite large. Let's pinch this a little bit. It's larger than I thought. <laughs> So I can position this widget overlay, and then let's bring this guy over here. We've got our, our web chat, so we can just have this on the page beside us, and then we can click on the comment, and the comment shows up on Ecamm, just like it showed up on OBS. Now in this one, if you want it to be able to show in any scene, just drag it here under show in all scenes. So if I go to anything, let's say we go back to this example, this it's still showing. Now if I click on it again, it'll make it go away. And then if I click on this one, it will pull it up. So because it's on show in all scenes, it is showing up and let's click that to make it go away. And let's exit the live demo mode. And that is how you add Zoom comments as an overlay in your Zoom meetings. I'm so excited for this. I hope you play with it. Let me know in the comments. And I think there are probably some more lessons that I can do on this. So let me know what do you wanna learn about this browser extension. I really hope you had fun. Tell me how it goes. Because honestly, I think this could help you to really run some more engaging, professional and seamless virtual presentations.